Hey, this is Artifacts of Mars. I can't let this one go. It's actually pretty funny. Michelle Obama says America is entering a time of hopelessness. With fewer than 90 day, 40 days remaining as First Lady, Michelle Obama is continuing to reflect on the legacy she and President Obama will leave after having occupied the White House for the last eight years. In a new interview with Oprah, the First Lady addressed the election outcome and suggested the U.S. is entering a time of hopelessness. Well, I wouldn't be feeling all that uh, hopeful if I had to deal with Oprah Winfrey. But anyway, uh, we are feeling what not having hope feels like, Obama told Winfrey in response to a question about whether President Obama achieved the hope and change she promised while campaigning in 2008. As she often did while campaigning for Hillary Clinton, she didn't mention President like Donald Trump by name, but she would to the contrast many in the country are feeling since he won the election last month. We feel a difference now, she said, knowing that her husband had succeeded in keeping his campaign promise of fostering hope. Oh, oh God. Hope is necessary, it's a necessary concept, she elaborated. And Barack didn't just talk about hope because he thought it was a nice slogan to get votes. He and I and so many believe that what else do you have to do if you don't have hope? What do you do if you give your kids if you can't give them hope? And She expressed mixed feelings about leaving the White House, ultimately concluding I'm going to miss waking up to this, having access to this same time I want, including the many servants, uh, madam, that you have. I've heard about the servants. But on the flip side, it's time. Watch a portion of the interview with Oprah Winfrey below. Well, uh... This is Obama. I got news for you. Donald Trump has done more already. He's not even in office yet. He's done more than your husband has done in eight years. Every time there was an international crisis, your husband headed for the golf course. This is Obama. And where were the jobs, Mrs. Obama? Your husband has been killing off the coal industry, putting coal miners out of business, Mrs. Obama. He's been insulting this country worldwide again and again and again, Mrs. Obama. How does that uh, give me hope? He's completely ruined the Middle East. He and Howard Graham Hillary, Mrs. Obama, they ruined the Middle East. They participated in this uh, Arab Spring. They killed Gaddafi, who was actually coming around to our way of thinking. The list goes on and on. And you're telling me that we're entering a period of hopelessness? Uh, sorry, Mrs. Obama, it's not hopelessness. At least it isn't to me. I call it something else, Mrs. Obama. I call it relief from you people. I'm not talking about your skin color either. Don't give me that. It's relief from you mentally disordered liberals who can't understand that what you're doing is wrong. You have to build this country up. You don't insult it. 
your husband is has notoriously insulted us again and again. The jobs weren't there. The country has been in a malaise for the last eight years. Technically, we've been in a depression. Now, Donald Trump comes along, and suddenly everything starts picking up. Gee, how could that be? It's because he understands how to run an economy. He may be a Twitter fiend, but if he gets the economy rolling and gets some regulations gone and gets our standing back up in the world, hey, I'll put up with some stuff. I'm Artifacts of Mars. You, madam, and your husband can go back to the golf course. Oh, and, uh, you're not going to have all those servants, so you're going to have to start washing dishes again. <laughs> I am Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.